When it comes to screwdrivers, the first one I'm grabbing is my Mega Pro. This is a new Mega Pro shaft lock. Great tools. Mega Pro. Don't forget it. Megapro.net. Welcome to Paul's Toolbox. Today I'm going to address a problem that you see all the time. The framing around your garage door. It rots at the bottom. We're going to pull that out and we're going to replace it with treated lumber. So let's get started. Someone has repaired this in the past and they did not do it correctly. They used standard lumber when they replace this. And they cut it here and then again here to try to just patch it. Don't patch it. Pull this board off. It's a two by eight. It doesn't cost much at all. Use the treated lumber when you repair it. Now we're gonna get started on it. Do it right the first time. Right here, I have caulking on here. I'm not as concerned about this. I could just break it off because I'm taking this off. But on the top, when I go to pull that channel off, because I'm replacing all of this with PVC, I'm gonna go ahead and use my razor knife and get it off correctly. That way, I don't scar and damage the good wood. First thing I wanna do is break this caulk right here, so I'm gonna use a razor knife to cut it. This is a Wonder Bar by Stanley. I like this one a little bit more than my flat bar when it comes to this kind of stuff because it has a little more prying capabilities. You have a good angle here to pull it this way, and you have this little angle here. So, I'm gonna take this, and pop it in place with my hammer. Now, when you go to pull this out, you can twist it, okay? And if it does not break loose all the way, you take your hammer a little further down and you walk it down. And that way, it comes off real easily. If you see a nail, get right next to your nail and then turn it. That way it pulls it out without breaking the wood. So I'll just walk right down with this thing. Okay, the next thing I need to do is I need to pull this out. Since it's tucked in up here, I'm going to have to break it loose from the bottom and work it up. The next thing we're going to do is pull this board off. I'm going to use a little bit of friendly persuasion with this. This is a little bit of an overkill for, for, for this 2x8, but if you have something stubborn, a 42 inch bar is fantastic. It just pulls it off like nothing. So I'm going to stick this in here and just pry it right out. And you can see, it's so much easier than trying to pull that out with a small bar. I can get it right in there. Once you, once you open it up a little bit, if you have to, open it up with your small wonder bar or flat bar and then get these in here, a larger bar. Once you get a larger bar in there, like I said, it pulls it out like nothing. These are fantastic for so many things. I use them a lot of times when I'm building decks. Okay, now we have a little bit of the stubborn part because we have an attachment right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this top trim off. It's caulked pretty good in there. I'll get a little opening, put my flat bar in there, and start working it, and it'll stretch this caulk out, and it'll just cut like paper. So let's get this in here. See how I widen it out? Once I get it to a certain point, I can just pull it this way, and it pulls easily. Now, it just widens out that caulk, or it even tears it. If it doesn't tear it all the way, you just go ahead and put your knife in there. The top piece is out of our way, and we're just gonna pull this apart right here. Score the caulk so it makes it easier to get it off. And we just kinda walk it. It is behind this board, so you don't wanna go crazy with it. Now I have a little gap right there. I can put a bar in there and pry it out. I have a good little nail right there. I can take my reciprocating saw and cut it, or in this case, I can just pry it a little bit more and it's gonna come out. They have about eight nails in there. Okay. She's ready. You see how this was behind it? It's mitered. And you have 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven nails in there. I could have taken my reciprocating saw, like I said, and cut them, but then I'd have to pull the top parts off over there and this. If you can pry it out and get the whole thing out, it's better. If you can't, go ahead and cut them. Whenever I come across a good tool that I really like, I like to share it with you. This is a lumber lock by Trivice. This is an excellent little tool when you're by yourself cutting lumber. You slide your lumber into here, it goes on an angle and it keeps it off the ground so you can make your cuts. I've got to take my saw and set it on a 45 degree angle. I use my speed square, mark my line. Now my speed square is going to be my guide. I have my saw set at 45 degrees. Let's go ahead and make this cut. Our board's cut and we're ready to put it in. But we have one more step before we do put it in. I want to get this measurement from where my board starts right here to where this plywood and 2 by 4s end. I don't want to put a nail in the mortar and crack that and I don't want to try to drive a nail through the brick. So let's get our measurement. Um, four and a half inches to the very end. And that's where this tape measure comes in handy. This is a Savage proscribed tape measure. And this tape measure has a guide that's going to enable me to mark this line. When installing these, I like to use three inch nails. These are finished nails, 10D or 10 penny nails. See why I like these wonder bars? You can take and put that under the board and step on it and push it, push it down here and it's going to pry it up and get it right where you want it. Here's my line. I want to make sure not to go past that line. Well, we're done for now. Really wasn't much to it. I'm going to take care of the other side. It's really not going to take much, but I don't want to bore you with it. On my next video, I'm going to cover putting the PVC trim with the weather stripping on it. This stuff is completely paintable and it will not rot. Great stuff to put on there. There's a certain way to put this on your garage opening. So you'll want to see the next video and we'll see you on the next project. When it comes to screwdrivers, the first one I'm grabbing is my Mega Pro. This is a new Mega Pro shaft lock and this is one cool tool. This one right here can lock other ones in place. So I have a button right here, I push it down and I lock another one onto it. I can have an extension. Now I can lock another extension onto it. Once it goes down and clicks, it stays in place and it won't come out. Check out this feature. When you slide this out, now you have 14 different tips in the back of here. Once you put them back in place, it stays in there and they won't fall out. This shaft does not move when you spin the back cap. So you can take your pressure and put on here and spin this and get your screws loose without having to worry about the cap coming loose or the shaft turning when you don't want it to. You also have this feature right here where you can spin this and turn it. And the shaft turns but your hand can keep this steady so you can really move quickly. Great tools. Mega Pro. Don't forget it. Megapro.net.